frustration with the coaching position is that the Richmond Football Club has not terminated John Northey's services. John Northey has work, walked out on the Richmond Football Club. That's very simple. How are you feeling, mate? I mean, what's what's your reaction? I mean, can you feel shit out? Feel shit out. You very upset? Uh, yeah, yeah. Do you leave here with good memories, John? Oh, yeah, yeah. I've had some, you know, the boys have been down here, they've been magnificent. I've had some special moments with the players. They've been magnificent. So. I understand John's motives. He has looked after himself. He hasn't considered the Richmond Football Club. He had a year to go on his contract and he didn't serve it. He's walked out on us. It's a very, I mean, I can't say it any other way. I wasn't asking for too much. I must have, I don't think I was. Uh, an extension of the contract that the club wouldn't, uh, wouldn't uh, agree to. Um, so, you know, that's pretty well it. And I think that John Northey loves the Richmond Football Club, loves the place, loves to coach here. But he's put his security, his personal security, ahead of the Richmond Football Club and his contract with the Richmond Football Club. <laughs> he believes that, uh, uh, in fact, uh, not only believes, I think uh, has a paranoia about uh, Malcolm Brown uh, being uh, out to undermine his position in the club. Indeed, Northey did believe he'd been undermined by the Tigers' business consultant, the former football great from Western Australia, Mal That's Brown. Where it's come from. Nobody will stand up and check brown he's been a bully all his goddamn life you can ask anybody in perth and he has wanted he's set about he's had his supporters here namely pat stone a director he's got rid of some very good people here no one has been able to stand up to him except john